my gosh. It's snowing. <laughs> Okay, today's video is going to be kind of like a little makeover that I give one of my minis all week. It's been like super nice, like it's been raining, but it hasn't been really cold and I actually think it's snowing right now. Yeah, you can't see it, but it's snowing right now. <laughs> I didn't think it would happen, but it is actually snowing just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. The flakes are like super duper small. You can barely see them, but it's snowing. So let's go just give one of my horses a makeover. It's super cold. It was really nice all this week. I was able to wear shorts yesterday, but do you know how that is? It's like Texas weather. I used to live in Texas. It, you know, day by day, you could have sunny 70 degree weather one day and freezing snow the next. So, what do you expect? Let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I thought I would just do Sabelle, give her a little makeover, um, kind of clean her because she's so dirty and she's black, so that's hard to do. Um, and I figured since she's pregnant, she hasn't been in my videos, I figured you guys would like to see a little bit of her since she hasn't really been in my videos and kind of give her a little makeover. Let's go. So I want to show you one trick that I've kind of learned over the years of dealing with dirty horses in the winter. So what I do is a cheap way, I'm sure there are better ways out there to do this that you can buy stuff, but what I do is I get a bowl of water and I just lightly dip my brush, shake it off, and then I brush it on their coats and, it, and the dirt clings to the brush so it doesn't cling to the horse. And then you're left with a clean looking horse. So let's see how this does. So I have my bowl of water. And my brush. I'm using a different brush. Because this one fits better in the bowl. I just lightly dip it, shake it off a little bit, and then I wipe it. And look at that. All the dirt on the surface clings to the brush. There's a clean horse. And once the brush gets dirty, kind of dump it in the water again and then repeat the process. You don't want it too wet because if it's too wet, it'll do this. Um, you want it just, dry, just wet enough so the dirt will cling to the brush. She's a little clean now. I just do the other side.
So she's got snowflakes all over her. But we're gonna move on to kind of brushing out her mane. And one thing that I like to do is I like to start at the bottom and work out the knots and then move up. So we're gonna move on to her tail. Her tail's real dirty, but since it's, <coughs> since it's so cold, I don't wanna wash it, so I'm just gonna brush through and just see if I can get all of the dust out of it. So let's try this. Um, again, you wanna start at the bottom and slowly work your way up. We are going to attempt to cut her bridle path because it is quite outgrown and I know like some people don't like cutting with scissors but I like cutting with scissors just because it's easier and I don't have a shaver so here it goes these she has a quite thick mane so this might take a while I'm gonna go get other scissors <laughs> And this is an after, but she's got snowflakes on her now. <laughs> Do you see how fat she looks? That baby's gonna come soon. She looks so fat. This is kind of a before. Ignore the snow on her. <laughs> I didn't expect it to snow today. But this is her finished look. This isn't as even as I normally do it, but <clears throat> My hands are red and cold, so I want to go inside. But that's our final look. Oh my word, guys, look at all this. This is like snow. What is this? I live in Tennessee. <laughs> you can kind of see the snow. Ah. You see my fingers? They're frozen. You can see how much snow we're getting. Hi, you want some treats? Yeah, you want some treats? Here.